So Jody, tell us what's going on over at Pell Diabetes Learning Center. Oh my gosh, we have so many things coming up. Um, I, when you asked me to be on the show today, I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about because we just have so much, but I guess our first program that'll be coming up um, on October the 28th, the, the class on the 21st is already full, but I'll go ahead and tell the folks about the 28th, is okay. our Taste of Healthy Cooking Classes. Oh, those fill up fast. They do. Because they're so much fun. Yes, <laughs> and we've had, this is our fourth and final one for the year. We've tried okay. to have one throughout, you know, each, each season, if you will, of the year. Um, and of course, because we're getting into that holiday time and everybody's starting to think about baking and it's getting a little cooler out, um, we're going to be focusing on a lot of holiday, traditional holiday recipes, what we can do to uh, maybe decrease some of the calories but still keep the taste and the mm -hmm. goodness, um, and then also looking at maybe some new holiday recipes. Hey, so we've got a little, little bit of a mix of both. Yep. Um, All of which is going to be healthy. Yes, and, and we're going to be focusing, Jan is um, busy right now, I'm sure, while I'm over here talking about it on the television. Um, she has been working on some old modified recipes um, and then she'll be throwing in a few new things there um, and I know she has a pumpkin mousse that I'm just dying to try Ooh. so that's going to be exciting all right but she does um, utilize some of the easier and, and more common recipes that we have but I love it that she takes a lot of the nutritional information puts it right in there for us lets us know what we're getting you know mm -hmm. what each slice is going to be to to everyone um, especially important to, to diabetics without adding yeah. all the extra sugar and yeah. that's where it comes in you know we did the the very first program that we did it was such a great um, turnout because we focused on desserts and mm -hmm. and talked about during sort of the the valentine's um, day time frame about the sweets and the sweeter foods. You can still enjoy the sweet foods and, and people with diabetes need to understand that. Yeah. Um, our patients that have come over and, and taken the classes with us, they do get um, modified recipes for different desserts and things right. because it's okay and it's, yeah. it's foods meant to be enjoyed. So exactly. we want you to enjoy those things and we want you to enjoy the holidays. And so we'll be sharing some different things um, throughout that cooking class and again, the first one um, has already filled up, which was October, October the 21st, 21st. Right. But we are having a, a, a fill over or a right. rollover yeah. class. Um, and it's Wednesday, October the 28th. The class will start at 11 and it usually lasts until about one. Of course, we, we have Couple lunch. Hours. Right, yeah. right. Because during the class and during the cooking, um, while Jan's talking and doing her education, I'm over in the kitchen preparing and fixing up for everybody those recipes oh that's so great. we give out and actually have lunch uh -huh. um, during the class of some of the recipes right. and some of the samples there and so. that's Jan Halligan and she's a registered yes. dietitian yes and she just does an awesome job with her portable kitchen and she does that's so much fun to watch it it's just like a cooking show on TV <laughs> I mean there it is and you sit in the audience and you watch her mm -hmm. prepare it and and it was that was her you know that was her brainchild she she came up with wanting to do these different classes with cooking in mind because mm -hmm. so many folks have so many questions about yeah. well, how do I do this what do I substitute for that still keeping in mind that I want my food to taste good mm -hmm. but that I also want it to be um, good for my body sure. and she does she does a great job with that and she um, has enjoyed that kitchen a lot. I yes, will say it yeah. has been a wonderful <laughs> addition um, to being able to provide some of those services. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is, it's amazing to me how many different situations and, and health problems that we get into and that we see now that can be modified by just the patient doing um, some lifestyle differences changes. and changes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yep. And we talk about that a lot. I know I, I really, really, really talk with my folks um, when we're doing our diabetes classes about they are the captain of their health care ship or they're mm -hmm. the, you know, the in charge. They're steering it. Mm -hmm. It's whatever direction they decide they want to go. And, and it's so important to understand that. And I think a lot of folks have probably an, a mentality of, you know, oh gosh, my doctor's going to take care of this or, or so and so is going to take care of that for me. Mm -hmm. And really, with any chronic disease and specifically with diabetes for us, you know, that w which is what I focus on, um, but anything like that that you're dealing with on a day to day basis, yes, our doctors do a great job and they help us and they help us manage. But mm -hmm. it's up to us as far as that day to day 
um, in and out right. everything that they're doing. Sure. Kind and of. I think, yeah, yeah, I think folks need to feel like they know what they're doing and, right. and feel comfortable with and it. I, and you'd want to be in charge. Mm -hmm. um, I sure. think I see the doctors kind of as an analogy that you were talking about steering the ship. And it's like the doctors, yourself, the classes you provide, you're mm -hmm. the compass. Okay, that's the direction <laughs> you need to go right. in. But it's actually up to you as the individual mm -hmm. that's, that has the chronic disease, whether it be diabetes or something else, you're going to steer it. Sure. So you're the one that's got to get it there. Sure. And, so. and at the end of the day, you know, I, I tell folks this a lot also, just, just putting forth the effort to be involved in your health care is, is a huge change in the last 20 years of health care. Sure. You know, we used to go to the doctor, we did what we were told, mm -hmm. we, we were good little students, and, and, you know, that was it. It was cut and dry. Yeah. And that is just not possible anymore. No. With, with all of the changes that we've seen, with all of the different, you know, regulations and guidelines and insurances and you name it, the, the governing bodies that are over us now, we have to empower our patients. We have to give our right. patients um, not only the information, but the confidence to do it. And they do. Uh, I know that I see so many folks coming in to the office six months later, a year later. Now, I've been at this for five years, so mm -hmm. two or three years later. <laughs> and they're saying, gosh, you know, I, I've made such a difference, not just in my diabetes, but I feel so much better. Mm -hmm. I, I actually feel... Um, better than I have in years just because I'm, I'm eating a little bit better or I'm doing a little bit more for myself. Right. And that's another thing that I, I sometimes have to remind my patients of is you have to do for yourself sometimes. Mm -hmm. You have to put yourself um, a, as a priority in, in what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. yourself in the equation yes. always. Exactly. Would this be a fair statement, Jody, if I said something like if you ate Anyone, if anyone ate what we're referring to as a diabetes diet mm -hmm. or lifestyle, sure, probably good for all of us. It is. It really is. I mean, it's it's and the reality eating the right are, foods. Mm -hmm. The combinations of foods um, are what really make a big difference. Mm -hmm. And and yes, it is um, true that everybody everywhere is at some level of risk for diabetes. Um, simply because of age, and everybody knows that we all get a little bit more mature every day. <laughs> so obviously, Hopefully, I right? mean, the alternative is <laughs> yes. And I know, I know, none of us are forty yet, but we're all headed in that direction, right? Um, and so, speak for yourself, right? Lady. Right. Um, but that is one of the major, you know, m contributing factors to diabetes is is family history and age. Mm -hmm. And and I know a lot of people like to throw weight in there and other things and other statistics, but. There's just some folks that it, we're already set up for it. Yeah. We're already predetermined in our genetic makeup because yeah. mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or aunts and uncles have diabetes anyways. It's already in our genes. Mm -hmm. And so some folks, you know, do all the right things and still get diabetes. Some folks follow a very strict and meticulous diet or, or what have you. And it really does have to go back to the individual person. And, you know, we were just talking about being in charge and, and being in control of what you're doing. And the other thing is being willing to modify things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's fair to say that, you know, I, I try very hard to practice what I preach. So I follow a diabetic diet, mm -hmm. even though I don't feel like I'm deprived of anything, but I'm eating, you know, uh, I'm being more, more aware of what I'm eating and what's going into my body as opposed to years ago. And even as a nurse, I didn't understand the science of dietetics. And so, mm -hmm. Sitting by Miss Jan has helped me a lot, <laughs> and, and being in the same office as her, yeah. listening to her, and then also knowing that she's realistic, and, and she's not going to tell me to go out and buy something that I've never heard of, mm -hmm. or try to go to 10 different specialty food stores to find something. Right. We're talking about regular, run-of-the-mill, um, just modified, good old-fashioned recipes, yeah. and I think that's what makes a difference in a lot sure. of people. I sure. think it makes a huge difference. Yeah, um, and, and like you say, it's not, um, we're going to take all desserts away from you. No. Yeah. No, yeah. And, and there is no, we're taking this away from you. Because at the end of the day, you're going to do what you're going to do. And mm -hmm. so if we can just, like you said, I like that. I may use that with the compass. If okay, we can just like steer you in the right direction, <laughs> that's great. Woohoo! Yes, that is. And, and that's my marketing tidbit for the day. That, Please hey, take I it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> And that's really and truly, you know, I tell my patients that all the time. This is why I get up and go to work, is to help you with your diabetes. So yeah. whatever I can do to help with that, right. that is um, definitely what we're after and what we're aiming to do. Great. 
We need to take a short sure. commercial break. We'll be back with more from Jody Bodenhammer with the Repel Diabetes Learning Center.